Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. I'm Boris Fitzgerald and Cardiology Lifestyle Medicine. How to measure your blood pressure accurately. Even when a medical professional takes your blood pressure, how you prepare for the test, the position of your arm, other factors can change your blood pressure by 10% or more. This could lead to a misdiagnosis, enough to hide high blood pressure or have you doctor start your drug that you don't really need or incorrectly adjust your medication. Blood pressure accuracy is important. Taking it home may play an important role in determining whether you need the treatment or not. We never rely on one reading only. Common mistakes can give you a higher number or lower number. And here are top 10 tips to take your blood pressure correctly and I'll have a bonus question at the end of the video. Number one, before the test, do not drink caffeinated beverage or smoke or exercise during the 30 minutes before the test. Number two, stop at the restroom. A full bladder could reduce blood flow to your kidneys and your heart. The natural response of your body will be to raise your blood pressure. This could elevate your blood pressure, the systolic number, the top number, uh, by four to 33 millimeters of mercury. Number three, best position to take your blood pressure. You should be seated, restful in a chair for five minutes before taking your blood pressure. Now watching TV, no looking at your phone, and no talking. Physical activity, any stress, can elevate the stock blood pressure by four to 11 millimeters of mercury. Number four, sit with your legs and back supported. Your feet should be flat on the floor and your back against the back of a chair without any gaps. Dangling legs or unsupported back can raise your stock blood pressure by six millimeters of mercury. Number five, sit with your bare arm supported on the table with your elbow at the heart level. Holding your arm and support the position can add five millimeters to your systolic blood pressure. Number six, keep your legs uncrossed. Crossing your legs again well, even your ankles will restrict blood flow and could raise your blood pressure by 2 to 15 millimeters of mercury. Number seven, pick the right cuff size. Very important, but the inflatable part of the cuff should cover at least 80% of your arm circumference. Should be placed on a bare skin, not over a shirt, and one inch above the band of your elbow. A small cuff will give you higher, falsely higher reading. Inappropriately a large cuff for you will give you inappropriately wrong uh, lower reading. And there are four different cuff sizes, the small adult, medium adult, large adult, and the extra large. Cuff is again too big, will give you a reading that's too low. If it's the cuff is too small, will give you a reading that's too high. And the best way to know is actually measure your circumference around your biceps in your arm. And read the device specifications carefully when you're shopping for a monitor to use at home. Number eight, uh, no talking during the measurement. Now watching TV again, now look at your phone. Uh, talking, even listening, active listening, can elevate your systolic blood pressure by 4 to 19 millimeters of mercury. Number nine, take your blood pressure in both arms at least once. Very important. In general, a five point difference between right arm or left arm is normal. But if your reading is more than 10 points difference, then you need to tell your doctor because it could reflect serious issues like vascular disease, the blocked arteries in your arms, plaque build up in your arteries, or even heart problems, quotation, and others. If the reading from one arm is higher, that side should be the one they should use in the future to recheck your blood pressure. Number 10, have your blood pressure measured twice. You wait another minute or so to take your blood pressure. It's normal to see some variation, but if the readings are different by five points or more, uh, do it a first time, average the readings, and record the number. And how often do you take your blood pressure at home? Initially, you need to take your blood pressure at least twice a day in the morning and in the evening for several days to get a baseline reading. And you should be lowest in the morning when you wake up and typical rises in the late afternoon. As you know, normal blood pressure is less than 120 over 80. But do not forget that the first line of therapy is not medications for treating high blood pressure, it is lifestyle changes. Check this video on how to lower your blood pressure natural. Top three ways to naturally lower your blood pressure. I'll put a link above in the description below. Here's the bonus I promised you. Is your blood pressure constant throughout the day? No. Your blood pressure starts to rise 
few hours before a person wakes up and continues to rise during the day, peaking in the midday, and uh, typically drops in the afternoon and the, the evening. Blood pressure uh, does fluctuate to a range of factors, including any exertion or stress. And there are medical conditions, obstructive sleep apnea, kidney disease, diabetes could affect these changes in blood pressure throughout the day. Even cold weather can cause your vessels to temporarily narrow, increasing your blood pressure. And don't forget, if you have a salty meal during the holidays, for instance, you weight gain, could lead to some elevation in your blood pressure. Which home blood pressure machine is better? We'll address that topic on the next video. Remember, your health is the most precious set. Take control. See you next video.